Hey, how's everybody doing today? My name is Ricardo Cordue. I want to welcome you to day number 10 of the Walk With Me Challenge. Uh, you see me over here, I'm getting my walk in on the treadmill again. And so uh, if you're asking, hey Ricardo, what is the Walk With Me Challenge? So basically for the next 21 days, I'm dedicating 30 minutes of at least walking or doing some type of exercise for 30 minutes. And what I've been doing is I've been coming on and I've just been talking to you all, dropping some nuggets. Hopefully something that I'm saying to you will help you uh, be able to take that next step in your life uh, and get some success, get some wins in your life to help you really do the things that you are called to do. And so let's see. So we are on day 10 and we have been talking about some things, basically, uh, I would say, ooh, ooh, I say, we, we've been talking about uh, things that I see successful people do to help them grow. And so the first, the first thing was uh, reading. The second thing was writing, which led to writing your goals. And now the third thing, which I'm gonna talk to you today, is finding a mentor. <laughs> uh, uh, a mentor, yes, definitely. Somebody who you can listen to, uh, who is doing the thing that you want to do. So the reason why you know what, why you want to do it, because we've already read books, and we also already set goals. And so through those goals, we've answered these questions. We ask ourselves these questions. So what do I need to do to be able? to get to this other step in my life. And so, what big mistakes people have done, uh, or, or what I've seen in my life, but also what I've seen in my mentor's life, is plenty of times that they said, man, I should have got a mentor before taking on this journey. I would have not had to go through so much struggle, so much strife, so much uh, financial hardships. If I would have just reached out and got myself around some people who are in the field that I'm going into. And if you tell me, hey, you know, what I'm doing, it never been done before. Okay, it might not have been, never been done before, but it's still a field. It's still an industry uh, that you are focusing on. It's still an industry that you're focusing on. And so you got to spend some time and figure out who you need to donate, you need to, to designate as a champion, somebody who you're looking up to. And so, you know, I, I want to give some examples because maybe you might be in a position right now where financially you don't have the money to hire uh, somebody who can be a coach or a mentor for you in your field, right? Uh, but you might find somebody who's local. Maybe it might be a pastor. Uh, maybe it might be somebody who is, who, who's a motivational speaker or leader or somebody who is in an industry, part of a, a business. Reach out to them. Figure out, you know, the places they're gonna be at. Maybe there might be certain events that they might be speaking at. Try to get to those events. There's, there's one, it's one that, funny, the, the first time I met my mentor was at an event. <laughs> and um, when I when I heard him, and I listened to him and, and his wife. I was like, man, I gotta find a way to be around these people because they're doing the things that I always envision me doing, and like uh, me wanting to be married and to be a good husband and be a good father and be able to provide and all these different things. I, and and I wanted somebody that I could see, touch, help if I have to. Uh, to be able to see how it looks because I didn't have a good representation growing up, right? I had a good representation when it comes to uh, making sure you go to work, you take care of the bills, things like that. But I, I wanted to see how a couple could be together. Uh, they could do ministry. Uh, they could uh, do entrepreneurship together. Um, they could be in a career together. They could raise kids together. You know, what does that look like? And how can you do it well? Because I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it the wrong way. 
And so, man, I, I promise you that me making that decision to be able to attach to some leadership that could pour into me, but you know, I, I would tell you that the first thing I did, what I what I would tell you as where you're at in your life, you, if you can't afford to invest, find a way to serve. Okay, sometimes being a servant first allows you to get in the doors and get in the rooms uh, that you would never get into. So that's one thing that I know I picked up because when I used to be able to uh, work out or, or when I was playing basketball growing up, you know, I was trying to figure out how I can get better. I didn't have like somebody to teach me. I would just go to the gym and kind of see how people would do things and I would try to copy it. But what I did was there was a basketball camp uh, that, I, that I seen was going on. And so what I did is like, I went and volunteered. And then automatically with me volunteering, I ended up meeting a coach. And he kind of took me under his wings. Um, he, he would take me to practice with him and do drills with me. Things that I just didn't have that I, I always wanted. And I'm telling you, it, it made me into a, a good player, right? Um, and so that's some things that you have to do to be able to realize that, you know, you might, you might paint this picture now. So now you've already got this picture. You got this vision that you have written out. You got your goals. So the next step is for you to be able to find that mentor, to be able to show you, because what's going to happen is there's some things that you just don't know, right? And it's something that they know. Um, also, another great mentor is YouTube. YouTube is a great mentor. You know, whatever fields you're in, whatever desires you're going, there's certain people who are, are high, high on the spectrum of what they're doing and they match what you're trying to go to and do, listen to them, see what they're talking about. If they have a podcast, if they have uh, conferences, anything like that, make sure, like you said earlier, make sure you show up, make sure you're there so you can begin the process of making that goal happen in your life. And so there's been plenty of stories where I have seen people start in one place, they connect with their mentor, and then a few years later, everything that they had in their goals, whatever they tried to do in life, it took them to that level, it took them to that next step, and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm in my next step because I attached to my mentor, I learned, I took the information down, and I'm still taking information down and applying it to my life. And so any success, anything that's happening right now, I had a vision for it. I'm walking in it now. That's what I'm doing right now. And then there's still more to go. And so I'm just, I'm just telling you that what I'm saying is that successful people do this and they do it well. They connect with people. Uh, the, the Proverbs talks about how you seek wise counsel. Seek wise counsel into multitude. So you can have several mentors, several coaches. Some of you might be a financial coach. You need to have a financial coach. That's important. Having a spiritual coach, spiritual mentor, it's important. Uh, marriage counselor, marriage mentor, it's important. You know, business, career. People have several leaders that they listen to when it comes to this. Because if you want success in life, you got to find out the information so you can know what to do to focus in on your direction of where you're going. So, I just wanna thank you for joining me for day number 10 of the Walk With Me Challenge. I will see you tomorrow and we'll go for uh, number four of what successful people do uh, to grow in their life. So, I love y'all, bye-bye.